Today, I'm going to be leading you through a postnatal yoga class that is great for breastfeeding. We're going to stretch and strengthen to relieve neck, shoulder, and back pain from breastfeeding. Of course, if you're experiencing any pain that you're not sure about, make sure that you go see your doctor or your physiotherapist. You don't need any equipment for this class except for a mat or a comfortable floor to get down on. And for the very last pose where we're relaxing, you have the option to use a bolster or a couple of pillows to really open up through the chest. Let's start in a comfortable seated position or kneeling position. We'll start by doing some gentle shoulder rolls and neck rolls, taking some deeper breaths into the body. Let's go the other way. Good. Let's take our head down and gently to the side. You can gently put some pressure. Tipping to the other side. Moving into some half rolls. You can also bring your shoulders into this movement if it feels good. Going back to a neutral spine, stretch out to the side. You can place your hand down, reaching up and over. And if you're on your knees, you can even sit down on the ground to get a deeper stretch. Breathing into your side ribs. Good. Inhale, come up. Switching to the other side. Relaxing your shoulder down your back. On your next inhale, coming up. Let's stretch out our chest. We can clasp our hands behind if that's available, or you can grab your elbows. Reach your hands down, open up through your chest. Pull your core and your belly button in to protect your core. You can lift your hands up a little bit higher. Good, release. Let's bring our hands around to the front, clasp them the other way, and round out through our back this way. Let's do that movement one more time, clasping behind. Big inhale. Rounding out the other way. Releasing out. The next exercise is a little bit more of a physio exercise, but it can really help relieve neck and shoulder back pain. So we are going to practice sliding our chin back. So we spend so much time with our necks and head forward, we wanna use the muscles and bring our chin back, strengthening these muscles. So we can release forward, use the muscles to slide our chin back. I'll let you do a few of these on your own time. Let's plant our hands down, come to all fours, engaging your core, tuck your toes, press into your first downward dog. If your wrists are bothering you, you can also be on your forearms. Take any movement that feels good, rocking back and forth. Lift 
lifting up alternating heels. And now pressing both heels down towards the earth. They don't have to touch wherever you are. Deep breath. Engaging your core, let's take tiny steps with our feet up towards our hands. We can keep them hip width distance apart once they've reached our hands. Let's release forward, scooping through your belly. You can clasp your elbows with your hands, releasing through your back. When you're ready, releasing your hands, let's roll up one vertebra at a time, really massaging through your back, coming up to a standing position. If you wanted to mirror me for this section, you can face towards your left. Let's bring our hands up to heart center, and we'll take a big step back into a lunge with your right foot. Let's bend our knee, tuck our pelvis, and then straighten our knee in the back. Let's take three big circles with our hands, opening up through our chest, reaching forward and around again. Reaching forward one more time, good. Coming up, bringing our hands to heart center. Now let's open up our hips, planting our back foot perpendicular. We can open up into warrior two, relaxing your shoulders down your back. Steady breaths. Let's tip back into peaceful warrior. Good. Bringing your hands out, let's move into eagle arms, crossing one arm over top, bending your elbows, clasping your hands or grabbing for your thumbs, and then lifting up through your elbows, feeling a stretch between your shoulder blades. Activating your legs, keeping them strong. Releasing out, let's straighten our front leg, bring our back leg in a little bit, reach towards the side, stacking our shoulders on top of our legs, moving into triangle pose here. Gaze can be forward, or if it's available, looking up at your top hand. Beautiful. Inhale, coming up, and let's turn around to the other side. We can turn our feet and step to the top. Now we're gonna step our left foot back into the lunge, bending your back knee, tucking your pelvis under, straightening it, good. And let's take three circles, opening up through your chest, leaning forward, engaging your core again. One last time. Good, coming back up to heart center. Let's open up to warrior two. Hands open up, soft gaze out over your middle finger. And leaning back, reaching up and over peaceful warrior. Coming up, crossing your other hand over top this time, reaching for your thumbs or hands, 
lifting your elbows. Steady breaths. Good. Release out. We can straighten our front leg, bring our back leg in just a little bit. Moving into Trikonasana or Triangle. One more breath here. Good, inhale up. Let's step our feet together. Let's have a sip of water and then I'll meet you on the mat. Let's come to all fours. Engage your core, feeling your core muscles wrapping around and your belly button pulling in so you're not arching your back at all. We're gonna keep our back nice and stable. Let's do some bird dog taps. So we will lift one arm, opposite leg, releasing down. Beautiful. I'll let you move with your own breath. Exhale up, inhale down. Let's do one more here and hold while we're here. If you have diastasis recti, you're gonna hold here. But if you don't, then you can bend your back knee and reach for your foot, still engaging your core, not arching, and you can reach for your foot, grab your foot if that's available to you. Take a breath here. Good. Release. Come back down. Let's do that on the other side. Re-engaging your core, breathing into your back ribs, lifting up, exhale, release down. Last one, option to hold here or bending your back knee, reaching around for your foot. And if you're reaching for your foot, you can gently press your foot into your hand. Beautiful. Release if you're clasped, lower down. I have two different options now. We can either do a chest stretch or thoracic mobility. So if you have diastasis recti, go with the chest stretch. But for thoracic mobility, we're gonna bring our hand up, pressing into our hand on the ground. You can open up to the side slightly, coming back down again. Alternatively, you can come down to your elbow and stretch out through your chest for a really nice stretch here. So you're either stretching or lifting up, down, keeping your core engaged. Last one. Good, and wherever you are, we're gonna move in to thread the needle, threading your hand through, placing your weight on your shoulder and stretching out through your back. 
taking a deep breath, release. Good. When you're ready, pressing into your hand by your face, coming back to all fours. You can either take the other hand up behind your head to open up, or you can come down on your elbow, reaching one hand out, having a nice stretch through the front of your shoulder and your chest. Wherever you are, keeping your core engaged, Last one, good. Coming up on your hand if you're down, threading your arm through, releasing into your stretch. Deep breath. On your next inhale, pressing into your hand, coming up. We'll come all the way up to our knees. We'll do a modified camel pose to stretch out through your back. You can place your hands on your lower back with your fingertips down, and then we will look up, lift through our chest. Let's keep our core engaged and gently look up, stretching through your back, keeping your core engaged. Taking a breath here. And using your core, exhale, coming up. Good. Let's move into a child's pose to counter that back bend. You can reach forward, releasing your head to the ground. You can continue to rest here, especially if you have a diastasis recti, or we can move into rabbit pose for a deeper stretch. So we can come on up, and this time we're going to reach our hands along the ground. You can place your head on the ground and then lift your bum into the air, reaching towards your toes with your hands, stretching out through your back, tucking your chin. Good. Let's release out and come back to your child's pose one more time. Pressing your hands into the ground, let's walk ourselves back up. Let's get down on our backs. You can carefully lower yourself down on your side to protect your core. Let's lay on our back and bring our heels in so that we can touch them with our fingertips. Pressing your hands into the ground, activating your glutes, pressing into your heels. Let's press up to a bridge pose. Take a breath here, releasing down, rolling down through your vertebra. Good. If you don't have a tight pelvic floor, we can add a pelvic floor contraction or Kegel. You can picture a blueberry at the opening of your vagina, and you're going to engage and lift it up as you exhale, lifting up into your bridge. Good. Let's roll down and completely release your pelvic floor at the bottom. Taking a breath here. Good. On our next exhale, contract, Kegel. Press up. Inhale. Fully release. Take a breath. Exhale. Up. 
inhale, release, exhale, up, inhale, release, good. Let's take one foot up here, or you can leave it down, and we will press up into our bridge again. Let's do some tiny pulses. If this is too much, you can leave both feet down. Trying to keep both hips even. Good, and lift up, hold. Let's bring it down. Beautiful. Switching to the other side, lifting up, keeping your hips even, tiny pulses. Lifting up, hold, releasing down, rolling down. Let's take a breath and relax. Bringing your knees into your chest. You can give yourself a little bit of a hug. Let's open up our knees here and you can stretch out through your hips. Alternatively, if it's comfortable for you, you can flex your feet and grab your toes to the outside of your feet for happy baby. Feel free to rock back and forth. Steady breath. Slowly releasing out, <sighs> exhale, engage your core to bring your feet down again. Let's cross one foot over the other knee and move into figure four stretch here. Steady breaths, flexing your foot that's crossed over. Circle our ankle of our bottom foot. Good. Releasing down, switching to the other side. Exhale, coming up. Releasing through your hip. Circling your bottom foot. Good. Releasing down, let's roll over on to our side. We'll come up to a seated position for Janu Shirsasana. You can bring one foot in, lengthen the other foot straight out in front of you. Inhale your arms up, hinging at your hips, leaning forward, and then you can let your hands fall on your leg or your foot, wherever is comfortable for you. With each inhale, feeling a little bit taller, and each exhale, you can fold a little bit deeper. On your next inhale, coming up, let's open up to the front. We can take a nice side stretch here. Good. Inhale up. Let's switch to the other side. Squaring your hips, sitting up tall. Inhale up. Reaching forward, then letting your hands fall. Finding your breath. Flexing your 
flexing your front foot. Good. Inhale, come on up. Shifting your hips to the front and a gentle stretch to the side. Come on up. Let's take our feet in front of us and a little bit apart, let's windshield them, releasing through your hips. We're going to move into Shavasana here, so you can lay on your back, but if you did have pillows or a bolster that you wanted to lay over, it can also be a really nice back and chest release. So either coming on your back flat on the ground or releasing over a bolster, you can either have your feet together in a butterfly position or lengthened out on the ground. Let's tuck our shoulders underneath us, placing our palms up. Take a big inhale in, sigh out again. Letting any tension go. Scanning your body, relaxing all the different areas of your body. Letting your teeth separate slightly, relaxing your mouth and jaw. Relaxing your forehead and your eyebrows. your belly and your pelvic floor. Notice any areas that you're holding on to tension and gently let it go. Relaxing here, or you can wiggle your fingers and toes, take a little stretch, rolling over on to one side, you can come back up to a seated position. I will read the yoga card for the day. Love yourself unconditionally, just as you love those closest to you despite their faults. And this is a quote by Les Brown. Namaste to you and namaste to the babies. Thank you so much for joining me for that postnatal yoga. I hope that your neck, shoulders, and back are feeling great and relieved. I will keep making postpartum yoga, Pilates, and workouts every week. If you like videos like these, subscribe and hit the notification bell. You can also go down to the description box and grab the resources that I have for mom. I have my complete guide on how I healed my four finger diastasis recti gap after my pregnancy, as well as a postpartum monthly workout plan where you get a new workout for every day of the month. Thank you so much for joining me. You did amazing. If you liked this yoga video, I'm going to link to another postnatal yoga I think you would like as well. And the whole postnatal playlist, you can save the playlist and come back to the different workouts whenever you like.